Now at four, your community focus. We're talking COVID-19 today with Dr. Jim McDonald from the Rhode Island Department of Health. If you're watching us, you know he joins us every week here on 12 News Now at four. Thanks so much for being with us today. Brian and Karen, Kim, happy everything. It's great to be here again. <laughs> happy everything. I like that, Dr. M. Dr. M, one of the big headlines out of the briefing today, a pre-registration system for vaccines. People can sign up at portal.ri.gov to be notified when they can get a shot. But some people have already been able to put their names on that website already to find out when they're eligible. So if they've already done that, do they need to do anything else? No, you're good to go. And, and part of what we're doing with that list is just simply to take some of the stress out of this, my friends. In other words, just sign up and it will let you know when it's your turn. And, and part of what I'm saying is that's only for the state website. So if you would rather go to a CVS or a Walgreens or a Walmart or a Stop and Shop, you can still do that and don't feel guilty. Once you get a vaccine, your name will come off our list. So no worries there. Dr. McDonald, at the top of the hour, Anita Buffoni was reporting uh, what happened at the briefing today, and she mentioned that about 40% of positive cases right now are believed to be variants of COVID-19. That, to me, jumped out from your perspective. Is that surprising? Should we be worried about that number? It's not surprising. It's what we thought would happen. And what we just have to acknowledge is it's primarily the United Kingdom or UK B117 variant. This is the one that came to Rhode Island. We know it's definitely more contagious from one person to the other than the wild top strain. But also, it's more likely for people to be the hospital or to pass away from it. So if you go to portal.ri.gov and get a test done, you go to one of my, my testing sites, they will give you two high quality KN95 masks, which this is the kind of mask that I wear. So if you want to do me a favor, you wear a high quality mask. Whenever you wear a mask, you'll do a lot to prevent the spread of the variant. Dr. M, yesterday the health department announced zero COVID-19 related deaths, certainly good news. It appears that deaths and hospitalizations are continuing their trend downward while we know that infections have plateaued. It's something that the health director highlighted today. What is this telling us and does it have anything to do with the fact that the variant is making the rounds? Yeah, it, it's kind of interesting. So one, I celebrated with my team yesterday there was no deaths because that was a big day for us. But one of the things the director pointed out today is as we vaccinate more people, there's really less people that are susceptible. So it's kind of something we're following. We're plateauing with cases. So I worry we might see an increase in cases in the next few weeks. This is something I'm keeping a very close eye on, which really gets me back to we really want to minimize cases right now. You know, we, this is the time where it's so easy to say, ah, it's OK. It's no big deal. Let's go outside and play. I do my outside playing, but I need you wearing your mask. And, and following the rules that we're putting out there right now, because it's a vulnerable time for us right now. And you know, the vaccinations, they're going beautifully. I love what I'm seeing with the progress here, uh, but it's a very interesting time for us right now. On the topic of vaccinations, President Biden just this afternoon announced a new goal of 200 million COVID-19 shots being distributed within his first 100 days in office. That was doubling his initial goal. Is this attainable? And what does it mean specifically for Rhode Islanders? Well, I love it when he writes these checks, and I hope he's going to cash it, and I'm hoping he will, because he did it pretty good the last one. So I'm optimistic he will. Now, I know next week for us, we're going to have 13,000 first doses, which is a lot for us next week to have. We're getting 62,000 doses next week. One of the things I'm excited about is every week we're getting more and more vaccine. So I love that we're seeing this. I think what it tells us is production of vaccine is going along very well. And these high quality vaccines are rolling out well, so the distribution is working. So I think what it means is when we're telling you we might get to herd immunity by Memorial Day, I believe it all the more. And what we might be able to do is get more and more people vaccinated. And I think it's highly likely by the end of April, early May, if you want a vaccine, you can get it. And then we're going to work on trying to gently nudge those who are a little bit hesitant in that direction of saying, can we get you interested in this? And Dr. McDonald, we have about 30 seconds, but the health department right now has a significant push on the monoclonal antibodies, which we've talked about here at four before. What's the messaging about the option for treatment as there's such strong messaging about the vaccine at the same time? Yeah, COVID's a treatable disease. A monoclonal antibody, we inject it in your veins. We give you that instant immune system made by a pharmaceutical company. And a lot of people will feel better the very next day. So if you've got COVID and you're high risk, 65 or older, or have some underlying conditions, talk to your doctor and see if MAPS is right for you. Dr. Jim McDonald from the Rhode Island Health Department, thank you as always for taking the time. Thank you, Kim and Brian. Have a great day. You, you as well.